Good morning, Magnus Eden. Good morning, Lilith Hazley. Mwah. Good morning, Diana. Good morning, Uncle Brian and Pop Pop. Good morning, everybody. T G I M. Thank goodness it's Monday. And today is Monday, but it's a special type of Monday for me today because instead of getting a ride in with Uncle Brian or Pop Pop, today is the first day I'm going to be hopping on my bike and heading over to work that way. It's the first day in a long time since I've ridden my bicycle and I'm really excited to get started. So let's bundle up and head out. I'm all bundled up and ready to head out. Good morning, empty parking lot. Happy Monday. Well, I've made it to school, so the first thing I have to do is get this wet hat off and switch it for my dry hat. Don't want to get a chill. Want to stay nice and toasty and warm. Now, there's nothing left to do until Mr. Rocky shows up. There's Mr. Rocky. Time to get this party started. Well, here I am in the classroom, but I'm still wearing my bike clothes. So let's fix that and change into my teacher outfit. Well, there we go, dressed and ready for our day. So come meet me at the U-shaped table. So starting next week, I'm going to begin tutoring in the morning. And that means I'm gonna be helping students learn some of the things that they need to learn in order for them to be more successful in school. But what that means for us is that during that morning time, I'm gonna to have to be getting ready for tutoring. So that means we're gonna be making our videos a little bit shorter so I have enough time to get ready for tutoring on top of getting ready for my whole day. So what we're gonna to do today is we're going to have a quick activity here at the table and we're gonna wrap things up with a little peekaboo and say our goodbyes. So today I wanna to talk about what we can do when we have too much energy and sometimes it's uncomfortable energy. Sometimes we're feeling really mad or we're feeling frustrated and we need a way to help calm ourselves down, to calm our bodies, to calm our minds. And one way we can do that is through breathing. And I do this with my students. We call it sniff the flower, blow out the candle. So we're gonna take our finger and we're going to pretend that it's a flower. And we're going to breathe in through our nose like we're sniffing the flower. Then we're going to blow out through our mouth and we're going to pretend that our finger is a birthday candle and we're gonna blow out that candle. So we're gonna go sniff the flower, blow out the candle in through our nose and blow out through our mouth. And we're gonna do that five times. So let's give it a try. Let's get our flower ready. Sniff the flower, blow out the candle. That's one. Sniff the flower, blow out the candle. That's two. Sniff the flower, Blow out the candle. Two more. Sniff the flower. Blow out the candle. Last one, nice and slow and deep. Sniff the flower. Blow out the candle. 
Sometimes when I take five slow, deep breaths like that, in through my nose and out through my mouth, my heart beats slower, my mind starts to race slower, and I begin to feel more calm. And sometimes it takes five breaths, sometimes it might take 10 breaths, maybe two breaths is all you need to get to that calm place. But one way you can get from feeling frustrated or having so much energy to a nice calm place is by doing some of that breathing like we just practiced. So I hope when you're feeling frustrated or angry or just too much energy, you give breathing a try because I'm sure that it can help. Anyway, I'm looking at the clock. It tells me that it's time for us to wrap up this video and for me to get my day started. So let's do a little pee ka boo pee ka boo pee ka boo have a great Monday. I love you all. TGIM, and I'll see you later. Bye.